Hello everyone, my name is Nick and let me welcome you to the Imperial Archives vlog series dedicated to units, heroes and villains from Imperial Assault board game. After a while discussing either units from Galactic Empire or Treacherous Rebel Alliance, let's take a look on another mercenary unit. For today, be it Deadly Trendition Hunters. For just 7 points you get a unit of two very dangerous Trendoshans, each with 6 health, black defense die and standard speed 4. Those lizard-like humanoids are not to be underestimated. Having almost standard ranged blue-green combo with accuracy from 3 to 8, it will almost seem they will be just another equivalent to our Stormtrooper legions. And that's wrong. Those guys excel when they get closer to their prey. As with Relentless, your enemy suffers a strain as long as it is within 3 spaces when an attack is declared. Combined with your uh, another ability called Scattergun, which inflicts 1 additional damage to the target of your attack while being adjacent to it. Trandos are very good. Oh, sorry, no. They are truly great when shooting from point blank or being in close range of their targets. Are you already afraid of them? Afraid, afraid of them? No? Well, you should be. To all that, they even have access to bleed and or uh, pierce 2 from surge, making their vicious attacks even more painful. And those were just regu the regular ones. Your elite randos cost 10 points, and what do they bring to the table, you ask? Well, let's check that together. Their increased health of 8 points, access to focus via surge and improved ACP scattergun now dealing plus 2 damage to your enemy. Seems all pretty good. With those at first sight minor improvements, Elite Trendos wreak even more havoc and hunt their prey better than ever. And be it either campaign or skirmish, Trendoshan Hunters prove to be a valu valuable asset to almost any attack group. Their multiple abilities and use for surge bonuses helps them cripple enemies with ease. The only sad thing is, you get only one regular group and one elite from the core set. And personally, I do like them quite a lot and use them very often in campaign. Uh, tell me what are your thoughts about these hunters. Let me know in comments. At this point, uh, report finished. Once more, thank you for watching and your support. I really do appreciate it. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, share your thoughts in comments below, and also show this to other players as it helps channel to grow. See you next time, and may the force be with you.